Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Me Painting. I appreciate all the new subscribers that I've gotten in the last couple of weeks. This is, this is definitely new and I'm, I'm really excited to get more subscribers. So if this is your first time, please subscribe below and I promise I'll bring you some really cool videos. Today what we're going to do is I, we're, I thought we would do just a real powerful scene, a real powerful landscape scene with a, with a big mountain. If you've never painted before, this is something that you could do. Okay, so my palette is pretty basic. Very limited colors on this palette. I'll run all the colors across the screen so you know exactly what I'm using. So first, what we're going to do is we'll throw up a sky. So let's just grab some blue. I got a two inch brush here. You can use a one inch, two inch. All right, I'm just kind of smashing that color into there like that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take just a, just a hint of red just to change that color a little bit. And just uh, swirling it in, X stroke, just move it around. Just like this, nice and free and loose. Just keep the corners nice and dark. Tap into a little more of that red. And the reason I'm using the red is it gives it a little bit of a, in some of the areas, it'll give it a little, a little purple cast, which I think is really cool looking. Now, in your sky, we're going to have clouds today here. In your sky, if you, if you don't want clouds, you can just leave them out. But if you do, you want to make sure that you have somewhat of a dark sky so the clouds will pop, pop out nice and, nice and bright. Just going to darken up these corners just a little bit more. All right, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to grab a fan brush and we'll throw in a few clouds. So take some just a dot of red and some white. Load that nice and full. You notice I have two different piles of white and I do that just so I don't contaminate and have one pile and contaminate it. Then you gotta reload your paint in the middle of a painting or in the middle of a video. Okay, let's go on up here and swirl in a few clouds. So, just nice, free, loose, just swirling. Something like that. And you can throw these shapes in anywhere, anywhere you want. All I'm looking for is to have a nice, crisp edge on the top. That's all I want right now. Put one up here like this. Oh, look at that. Got a lot of red in that one. I can fix that. Now, I'm just going to throw a few, just a few indications of some clouds down here, which would be further back in the distance or towards the horizon line. And they may show up after we put our mountain in, they may not, but if they do, it'll give it depth. 
And that's what we're that's what we're looking for. Is depth. Now this canvas is something different. I actually I made this canvas. I like to have I like to have a lot like thick, like a lot more tooth in my canvas, and rather than be, being so fine. So I went ahead and I made a couple of canvases, and uh, just really to demonstrate to see what kind of effects I can get, and I actually really I really like it. So let's grab a two inch brush, and we can go ahead and blend out these clouds. We're just going to smooth it out just a little bit. I'm really just riding the bottom, 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 bottom portion. That's all I'm doing. And we can move over to here. And you can repeat this same process until you're satisfied. Now I'm doing this on the bottom. I want to, I want to kind of drag these out, make them a little bit more horizontal. Okay. We'll give these. Let's give them a little lift. It's always a good thing when you're making clouds like this. Using. Not too much pressure. Doing like a C shape. Just like that. And then we could just give them a soft, quiet little blend. All right, so I'm going to mix up a dark color now to make our mountain. All right, so. Going to grab, let's take some blue, some, some blue out there, get quite a bit. Blue, black, a little bit of brown, a little bit more black, and I want a little bit of red. And just mix that up, okay? Blue, black, brown, red, dark, you know, dark color. The reason I put brown in is because we're going to have some brown on the outer layers. So that's why I put it in. I want to harmonize it. I want to make it match. Okay. Pull that out nice and flat, just like this, just like that. Cut off a small little chunk, small little hunk of paint. And I'm going to set my palette down. I work better without the palette, with or without, it doesn't matter. I actually like it without. Some people prefer to hold it. All right, so let's go ahead and throw our mountain in up here. We'll start uh, right about there like this. Just like this, and I'm going to press hard. Just like that. Scrape, scrape, scrape. You want to scrape. Make a little bump right there. And then we'll another one like this. Come right underneath of that cloud. Okay. Now when I go down, I'm just getting another little hunk of paint. So we can come up here and make a little, little peak like this and smash that in. I'm pushing really hard. Get another, another little roll of paint there. Need a little bit bigger roll. Now I'm scraping this off just like this because I don't want too much paint left on there. Now look, I oops, messed up there, so I'm going to extend that just like that this. All right. 
And I'm just going to keep scraping and keep continuing this until, until I'm satisfied. And I'm satisfied. All right, let me just set that knife down and grab the uh, two inch. You could use a one inch. I like using a two inch brush. We're going to pull, let's pull it out. So I scraped the paint off of here because I didn't want a lot left on there because it, it's, it makes it easier for the next highlight layers to go on when there's not that much paint. And I think that's a, that's a key. I think that's really key in painting this style. Don't use a lot of paint. Your undercoats, your base coats, your, your first coat, just don't use a lot of paint. Use minimal paint. You, you'll never go wrong if you just remember that. Use a little bit of paint. Now, this I had mentioned that I, actually I made this canvas, okay? I made this canvas and I sealed it with a, you know, with a canvas sealer. I used, I used, I think, uh, one, one thick coat of it. Now, I don't know if it did the trick. So, what I'm going to do is I have some, some medium that I'm just going to, I'm just going to put here real quick just because I want to get that soft transition effect with my mountain okay and the medium that I put on which I don't know if I mentioned it but I did put a, uh, a white medium on here you know thin white paint before I started but the canvas ate it up because the sealer that I put on wasn't I should have did two coats I only did one so that's fine We'll make do with whatever happens. Okay, so now back to this. I can pull this out just like this. Okay, see how soft that is? Nice and smooth. Uh, maybe there's a little mountain back here that we can't really see too good. This one comes right in front. just like that. And you could do this to whatever degree you want. All right, that's good enough right there. All right, so I'm going to set that down. And I'm going to grab the old knife. And I'm going to let me clear this out of the way. A little dark color we won't get rid of that because i i'll use that i'll show i'll show you what for all right so what we're going to do is this we're going to take we're going to take some brown okay and pull some brown out like this and it mix a little bit of ochre with that just a little bit a little bit more okay just like that pull it out Get a little bit of paint on there and what we're doing is it's sort of like putting snow on a mountain same thing we're just putting brown on the mountain so we'll go up here touch pull get some more paint touch pull this part is not very critical because we are going over it with other color okay this is just like a base layer so we'll come up here like this, touch, pull, just reloading. Okay. All right, so now that pile that we have right there, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix this, I'm going to take some white, okay, and a much bigger hunk of, uh, of the yellow ochre. Okay, we don't want to mix it too, too much. I'm going to leave it kind of like marbled like that. And this will be our next layer that we're going to put on. So, get a little bit of paint there, and we can come up here like this, and we can... We could drop a little bit of that on. Okay, come back down here. Get a little bit more. Go back here like this. 
this. Now this is not the brightest color. This is not the brightest highlight, so we don't have to put too much on. We'll sparkle it up at the end. And I want some of the dark to show through, the, the, the darker black and the darker blue to show through. That's why the, the, uh, the base of the mountain was a dark color. Now, we're going to just take this same pile that we have right here with a little bit of our base color. We can actually, you know what, we can mix up some more brown base color, some more of that ochre like that. We can get some white actually. We don't want this real bright because this is going to be the shadow side of the, of the mountain. I'm going to get a little blue just to give it that. Okay, so we want a, it's like a bluish, brownish, gray color. So we can come up here and see how this looks. All right, I think that's all right. What I am going to do real quickly is grab some ochre real quickly. I just want to put a small little, little bit of light up here, just like this. I do want to do that. I like doing that. All right. Back to our shadow ochre into that little grayish, brownish color. It doesn't have to be this exact color. If you like the color, if it looks good, then that's the color that it should be. Okay. I'm just mixing up some more of that, uh, some more of that color. As you get towards the front of the mountain, it could be darker. The color can be darker. What I mean by that is this, the base, the front, like this. This area right here can be darker because it's closer to you. And in a landscape, as things get closer to you, in any scape, when things get closer, they appear darker. All right. All right. Now, let me clean a spot here real quick. I am going to take a little brown ochre and some white. Our original highlight color. Pull that out. Put some off here and then I'm going to go like this. I'm going to bring that mountain down a little bit further. Just like that. Something like this. Okay. Now, before I do anything else with the shadows, I'm going to take, I don't have much left here, yellow ochre. I'm going to have to reload. Yellow ochre, white, just like that. Okay? pretty bright color. So this is where we're going to sparkle this thing up. Just don't you can and don't overdo this cuz you really you really can. Just a little bit some there, maybe some out there like that. Like that. 
front here. I want this to be the part where it's really noticeable right in the front. You could spend all day doing this. All right, now, let me move that over. Take a little, just a tiny bit of black, blue, brown. All right, and I gotta. Put a shadow here because we have a highlight there. So we gotta make it stand out. And I did lighten it up just a hair here, just to give it a little bit of, just, you know, it, it'll show a little better by doing that. The dark shows up good too, but the light is it's just as equally good, as long as it's not too bright. It's still darker than the shadow. And what I'll do with a little bit of that blue, I'll go like this, watch this. I don't know if this will show up on the camera. It's like a middle tone. All right, now I'm just gonna tap this area here just a little bit, <clears throat> just to soften this up. Just back here, just to, just kind of make it look a little bit more subdued back there. Just a nice little, little easy tap. Actually, this will probably be better just to, just to get a little blend. And here's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to a little bit of this medium right here, like this. Just like that. And a small amount over here. This canvas is eating up my medium. All right. I'm just going to pull up nice and easy, just like this, and give this side just a little tapping. <clears throat> Something like that. And once again, you could do that until you're happy. You could just keep on tapping away, or you don't have to tap at all. What we'll do is take very little paint, a little blue, a little green. All right, scoop a little white up there. Very, very little paint. All right, so I have, I have some black, green, and blue. And a touch of white just to lighten it up. You see that? There's barely any paint on there. I just want to give an indication that there might be some distant trees coming down this mountain here. Very, very, very distant trees. And once again, I'm being real loose and free and not. <clears throat> I'm not holding the paintbrush like this. Well, I'm kind of halfway. You know, you want to you want to be loose and free. The more loose you are when it comes to painting, I, I firmly believe the better it comes out. Some things you have to be detailed on, but when it comes to nature, everything is you know everything is just it's not perfect. When I mean when I say perfect, I mean it's not. Every, you understand what I'm saying. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just get off my little talking session here and just continue to paint.
Okay, so all right, so some distant something. There's some distant trees, some ground, some land. Something is back there, okay? Just put a little dark on the bottom here as it gets up a little closer. All right, two inch. Blend this out. And you could add more. You could, uh, let's see, I'll show you. You could get some more green, some more green and black. Let's get a touch of yellow too. Green, black, yellow. That's a also a very nice, very nice uh, color combination for trees. So, at least hopefully you can see. And you could tap too. Okay. So we'll set that palette down for a second, and I'm just going to blend out the bottom of this here. Sneak in here and blend out this real quick. And then I'll sweep over the entire thing nice and very, very easily. So that right there that gives us the indication of some kind of a, yeah, some trees or something <clears throat> back there. Um, all right, so next we will, we're going to move to this area right there, okay? We're going to move to the front of the mountain and we're going to darken up our colors a little bit. So I'm going to grab some black, some blue green, like that, a little bit of white, mix that in there, that'll kind of show you what you have, <clears throat> excuse me, get some more green, yellow, ochre, a little bit of each color, <laughs> good enough, all right, and when I'm loading, look, you want to, it's good to push, tap, get a little push, 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 you get a little ridge of paint there, makes it a little bit easier. All right, before I do that, real quick, let me just, I'm just going to blend out the bottom of this area here, the front of this mountain right here. As a matter of fact, let's put just a little bit of mist in the front of this mountain, and I'll show you why in a second. just like that and we can come in here now and we can tap and put a couple of distant trees in here like this okay like this all different shapes and sizes and I'm just tapping down just like this I'm just doing my reflections here, just like that. And, uh, you know, I could, if I want, I could go, like, come back and I could just, you know, throw in a few of these real quick, just to, just to give it a little bit of a better look. Just match it up a little bit, <clears throat> like that. All right. You can do that, you don't have to. It all depends on how you're feeling. Do what you feel. Do what you feel like. Okay. All right. Let me grab a knife. Left my knife over there. All right. I'm just going to grab the knife and I'm going to take some, I got some dirty white here, it's like a, like a greenish white. I'll pull it out super flat, super, super flat, just get a little bit on there and I'm just going to, I'm going to cut
cut me in a small little <clears throat> water line like this. All right, something, something like that. Maybe a little, one little ripple out there. Whatever, you could just, you could do that if you want. All right, so we got a little, little water line. Now it's not necessarily right on the line doesn't separate the land from the water itself but it's a little maybe some wind blown or something like that it just gives you the idea that it's water okay all right so now we could start to make some trees so what i'm going to do i'm going to try to make this real easy okay i'm going to let's just do this i'm going to take the knife i'm going to grab blue this pile of green is fine here Black, I may need more of that. Brown, let's get some more green and some red. Okay, here's what we're going to do. This, this should be pretty dark, it's going to look black. Okay, okay, mix that up just make sure the red is showing. So this is what I'm going to do. I just want to, I'm just going to use the knife, okay, just to get, just to get some of this dark color in here. All right, we can swirl it around and move it around with a brush. Okay. If this was a regular canvas, I probably just would use a brush, but... This is real thick and rigid and, and bumpy and all that. So I'm just gonna spread some of this color out with this. And I'm actually gonna mix up a little bit more. So it's so a black, blue, green, brown, red. Alright, just dark color. Dark, dark, dark with a ending up with a with a real dark green cast to it. All right, I'm just going to set that knife down for a minute. And I'm going to grab a fan brush. I'm going to grab a fan brush and I'm going to start, I'm going to make a few trees. So I'm just going to load up, load up a fan brush. And I'm going to come right about here. And I'm just going to, just like that. And I'm going to, Start making me a tree, just like that, just tap, tap. Just load back up. All the way down, like this. little guy right there something like that okay now we can start I don't know up here I'm gonna need some more paint for this one so we're gonna start up here and we're gonna make a tree up there the old fan brush and we could start tapping now you could use a big fan brush. I got a small one here you can use a bigger one it's probably easier I'm just using a small one 
Actually, the bigger ones give you just a better effect, a better, better looking tree, I think. I'm just smashing this in now. Just to get some dark color in there like this. Dark, 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 dark. This is just one of them, you know, good little quick, easy paintings. You can just hang right on your wall. Nice little tree there. that just kind of scrubbing this in on the bottom here scrub 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 okay switch sides and we can put another tree right over right here Right about there, something like that. Same thing, I'm just smashing it in just to get that color here at the base. Now, I'm going to put in a distant. Not a distant, but a, a different tree back here. It's like the one that's a little further back. Just for some background material. Something like that. All right. Now. I'm going to take a big old hunk of brown and I'm going to pull this brown into our little pile here, okay, of, of dark. And so I'm just looking for a dark brown, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and I'm going to put a tree right in this area here. It's going to come down just like this. Start up here and pull, pull, pull like this. Reload, reload. Something like that. And that just kind of, for right now, just kind of disappears into there. All right. Now, uh, since we got that in, I'm going to take some green, a little bit of black, green and black, pretty much. And I have to see how this fan brush works out. I may choose to use a bigger fan brush. Let's go up here and we can start to put in some limbs on this tree. This is a uh, pine tree. I'm tapping pretty lightly and I'm reloading pretty consistently. These limbs 
pretty much go almost all the way down on these trees. I'm just whipping through here to, to change it up a little bit and get some different shapes. Even though most of them just go pretty much straight down. Okay, so there we have that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, take some of this lighter color here. It's like just almost like a white. It's a little dirty, but it's all right. Some of that and some brown. Okay, it's like a very light brown is what we're looking for. I just want to give a little bit of a, a little highlight on that tree right there. On the, on the bark and then we can come back with a little bit brighter white and just give it a, a touch like that okay and if you want you could we could have did this before we put the branches on you could you could just go up the tree and you could blend it in and highlight a little bit if you want it's not super important I just the bottom was and as a matter of fact, if you want to make it look really good, just take some, take some yellow ochre, a little bit of yellow ochre, and just kind of tap at the tree a little bit there. Don't go overboard. I actually almost just went overboard. I got to put a little dark back in. Okay. You could use the knife to do that. Okay, I'm going to wipe off this fan brush. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to grab a bigger fan brush. That was a number 3. I'm going to grab a number 6. I'm going to throw in just a few highlights. So for that, see I already have green on here. So I'm going to take yellow. It's a very dark yellow. I just want a few highlights. Not many. Not many. Only on the edge. Couple here. And then maybe a few here. Okay, now, what I'm going to do now, see I was using the dark, very dark tone yellow. I want to get a brighter yellow. Okay, and we could put in just a few, just a few little, like a sparkler highlights up here. Just like this. When you're highlighting something, and I'm going real fast here, this isn't, <laughs> this probably isn't the best example. When you're highlighting something, the more, the more tones that you use, when you're starting from dark, the more tones you use going up to a brighter color, the more dimension that you get out of that figure, whatever it is. So we started at dark, very dark green, and then we put a dark tone in, very dark yellowish green, then we worked our way up. We just did a few tones very quickly. But what I'm saying is if you use several different tones and work your way up to the lightest value, it makes a pretty big difference, okay? So I'm going to switch back to, I'm going to switch, I'm just going to grab the knife, make it quicker. I'm just going to throw in it's 
some dark. The dark that we have left that's laying around here. Okay. And I could grab this little fan brush like this. Just to swirl in a few little shapes and things. I'm being very, very free here and very, I don't want to say careless, but, you know, it's fun to paint like this. It really is. No concerns. There's no worries. I'm not worried about making any, any mistakes. Okay, I'm just not worried about it. Just going with the flow. Every painting, every time I do something, every time I paint, it's a learning experience. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take some white. I'm looking for a bluish gray color. Very, yeah, bluish gray somewhere in there like that <clears throat> and all I'm gonna do is just to give this ground just a little some texture stuff like that that's about all I'm looking for Come back with a little bit of a lighter color, a little bit of that ochre in it, put a little highlight on this. Now, we can grab a liner brush and we can thin down just a little bit of that dark color on our palette, just a little darkish, dark green. And we can add just some little, some little grasses and little sticks and stuff throughout the painting. Just like this. And you can put these anywhere. It's all over the place. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm thinning down some black and brown like ink, it's like literally going to run off the palette here in a second. And what I want to do is, I just want to put in just a few little branches like this. And you could put in just as many as you want. I'm just going to put in a few for this painting. And now, since, um, since I put some grasses in, what I'm going to do is grab a lighter color, a little green, yellow, and white 
And I just want to put in a few lighter, grassy little things just to just to kind of accent and highlight just some of the darker areas. And you can put some down here also in the foreground, which will give it good depth. You don't want all your grass areas in one little spot. And you see I'm just moving around. I don't even, I'm not planning this. I'm just, I'm just throwing this thing all over the place. I don't even care. All right, let's set that down. And one of the last things that I'm going to do here today is... Take the knife and scratch in a few things. Look, I can scratch in a branch. Look at that. It's pretty cool, huh? If you hold the knife point like this, you get a you get a little small little figures. If you hold it sideways, you get a big one. All right. Scratching in a little, well, maybe a tree trunk. Okay, something like that. And just to soften that up, Take the old two inch brush on the bottom areas here where I just scraped and I'm just going to soften it just so it don't look so harsh. Just like that. And that is about it. I am just going to go ahead now and sign this puppy and we will be we will be done for the day here. So I'm just going to sign it right here. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to come back, watch some more videos. I'm just getting started.